Okay. Um, welcome to Great Torrington School. Now, normally, uh, if you are thinking of coming to our school, or you know you're coming to our school, we would give you a tour around the school. Uh, at the moment, with these unprecedented times, we're not able to do that. So, we are going to give you a virtual tour of the school. So this entrance is what we would call the J block entrance. Um, many of you will come into the school uh, in this, uh, through this door, um, unless you get a bus to school, and we'll show you where you would enter if you come in by bus shortly. So uh, we're gonna head up this corridor. What you'll notice about our school as we walk around is that some bits look very different to other bits. So our school is quite old, she's 81 years old, um, and what we've done is build onto her as time has gone on. So we're gonna head up this way, okay? Um, so this is our dining hall. Um, it obviously looks a little bit different to this when we're an up and running school. Um, you can get food in here at break time and lunch time. At lunch time the tables are down in the dining hall so you can sit here and eat your lunch with your friends and you can bring packed lunches in here if you wish. Uh, we use something called cashless catering at GTS, which means when you join us, we take an image of your thumb or we give you a PIN number, and it means your parents or carers can load money onto your account from home, so they can do that electronically. And when you come in, um, you literally just put your thumb on here and it pays for your food. Okay, so this is our pupil coach office. Um, we have four pupil coaches. Each uh, house has a pupil coach attached to them. So if you're in year six and you're joining us, you will have had a virtual introduction sent to you where you will have seen your uh, head of learning and your pupil coach. So all four pupil coaches work from this office. Um, they are here to look after your pastoral needs. So if you're having any difficulties in school, you might come along and see them. You might come along and see them to have a chat. And um, you will see them round about school. They will pop into your tutor groups and um, make themselves known to you. So we're now in our uh, music and performing arts department. So this is our performing arts Mac suite. Uh, what you can see in front of you um, might look different when you join us because we have got some brand new um, equipment on order. So hopefully it will be here by the time you join us. So music and drama, so performing arts, are subjects you will study in year seven, eight and nine. And you can choose to do them at GCSE for year 10 and 11 if you wish. Okay, so this is our drama studio. Um, as the name suggests, this, is, will be, um, this will be where you have your drama lessons. So as uh, mentioned before, you will do drama as part of your performing arts in year seven, eight, and nine, and you can choose to do it as a GCSE in year 10 and 11. Um, so the drama studio is also used for our school productions throughout the year, um, and you will come in here one morning a week, at least for your house assembly. So we are now in one of our English classrooms. We're just showing you this classroom because it kind of typifies what classrooms look like at GTS. They all kind of look a little bit like this, all kind of this size, all kind of laid out a little bit like this. Okay, so this is our library. Um, very helpfully, our library is placed in the middle of our English corridor. Uh, the library is open before school and after school, so you can come in here um, to read and change books or do some homework if you wish, before school hours, after school hours. Uh, it's also open every break time and lunch time. Um, Mrs Ward, who is our librarian, um, knows anything and everything about books, so if you need to find a book or you don't know what book you're looking for, just talk to Mrs Ward and she will help you. Okay, so as you can tell, 
by the way I'm now dressed, we are in a science room. Um, we have six science rooms at GTS, all look very similar to this one. You will study science for your five years. Um, it is a compulsory subject at GCSE. Okay, so uh, we are at the end of the science corridor. So just down here, this corridor I've just walked up, that's the science corridor. And uh, what I want to point out is our school, although it might seem very big when you come here, is actually um, built on corridors. So all the corridors match up to another corridor. So once you get your bearings of a few corridors, you know your way around school. So science corridor is here. If I went down here, we've got our humanities corridor. If I went that way, I've got design technology. If I went up, there's some stairs just behind where the camera is right now. That would be our maths department. And if I went uh, to the left, I'd find another science room. Um, so as I say, once you get your bearings of a couple of corridors, you can find your way around. But on that note of finding your way around, please don't worry about getting lost. Um, it is perfectly natural when you start any new school that you might get a little bit lost in the first few days. And nobody's going to be cross. There's lots of people who will help you to find where you need to go. And within a couple of weeks, it will be like home. You'll know exactly where you need to go at exactly the right time. So around school you will see lots of our lockers, so they all look like this, nice blue lockers. Um, we would encourage you to get a locker when you join us, they're quite handy for putting your bags in, particularly on days when you might have PE for example. Um, your tutor when you join us will tell you within the first couple of weeks of what you need to do to get a locker um, and who you need to go and see. So this is our design technology area of the school. Um, you will study design technology in years 7, 8 and 9 and you can choose to do um, design technology as a GCSE subject as well as GCSE construction. Um, so within the design technology department we also offer catering as with uh, the other design technology subjects you study that in 7, 8 and 9 and then you can do catering as a GCSE uh, in year 10 and 11. Okay, so uh, this is what we call our quad area. Just behind me here is our gym. Uh, the quad area is an outside space that you can use break times and lunch times. Um, as you can see, there's a nice seated area. So if you didn't want to go into uh, the dining hall to have your packed lunch, you could sit out here and eat in the sunshine. Um, we are now in one of our ICT rooms, so we have three of these rooms uh, upstairs and two others around the school. Uh, you might come into an ICT room because you have an ICT lesson or an iMedia lesson. You might come into an ICT room because you need access uh, to the computers for your lesson. So your teacher might book you into an ICT room for the purpose of, of your lesson. We also have uh, tablet trolleys that could be delivered to your classrooms. So at Key Stage 3, you will um, follow computing and iMedia, and you can then choose to do those as a GCSE option when you get into Year 10 and 11, if you wish. Uh, we're now in our Hardy Centre. So our Hardy Centre uh, has two very important people who work in it. They are called Clancy Stevens, who are, is our Hardy Centre manager, and Dave Atkinson, who is our safeguarding officer. Uh, so Clancy and Dave both work up here. The Hardy Centre is an area of the school that is accessible to any pupil uh, should they need it. So sometimes we might have young people come up here because they have some uh, time on their timetable. Um, some young people might come up here because they have a meeting. Some people might come up here to talk to Clancy and Dave. 
some people come up here just because they're having a bit of a wobbly day and they need to talk to somebody so that they're ready to go back into their learning. So it is open um, all during the day um, and as I say it's open to anybody who might want to come up and speak to us. Um, this is one of our amazing art rooms. We have two rooms that look very similar to this. Um, when you do join us and you can have a proper look around the school, do go into the art rooms and have a look around because all of the artwork you see has been produced by pupils at GTS. Um, so art is a subject that you will study uh, at Key Stage 3, so years 7, 8 and 9. And again, it's a GCSE that you can opt to follow in year 10 and 11. Um, here we have our house uh, notice boards. So we have all our houses represented, Discovery, Endeavour, Endurance and Resolution. Um, as you can see, each house has a colour attached to them. So Discovery is red, Endeavour is blue, Endurance is gold and Resolution is purple. Um, when you get a chance to have a look at these boards properly, properly you will see that uh, all the staff who are associated with that house have got their picture on the board, so you know who belongs to which house. Um, within the houses, we have a competition every year, and the winner of the competition wins the Ash Cup, which is right up the top there at the moment. It's currently got the blue ribbons on it because Endeavour are the... Uh, current uh, winning house. So the Ash Cup is awarded at the end of each academic year to the house that has got the most reward points. So you will earn reward points for doing uh, good things. And we also have consequence points for uh, sometimes when we don't do quite so good things. Um, so your reward points um, add up to personal certificates for yourself, but they also go to your whole house uh, total and the house that has the most reward points at the end of the year as I say um, is awarded the Ash Cup so you can get reward points for lots and lots of things including competitions that we run through the year your classwork your homework you name it you can uh, gather reward points for doing that <laughs> 